And we are in the Nicodemus, historic Nicodemus in Graham County, and able to catch up with U.S. Uh, Senator Jerry Moran. Uh, Senator, always good to catch up with you. Uh, you're a busy man. Uh, Ken, thank you. Away from Washington, D.C. Uh, for a few days because of the holidays uh, related to the Jewish holidays. That gives me a chance to travel Kansas, uh, town hall meetings uh, really from all over Kansas, from east to west, north to south. Uh, conversations are a lot about, there's a lot to say about agriculture and a lot of difficult circumstances that farmers and ranchers are finding. And then what that means is challenges in their community. Well, with our conversation, there's a lot of things we could talk about, but let's focus on some of the ag things. I want to talk about kind of what's going on then. In our second segment, I want to talk about what you expect the rest of the year. So okay. uh, first, as we're taping this, we're learning more about a possible breakthrough with China. Well, that would be a great development. Uh, while we are you know, focused on trying to get the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi, to bring USMCA, the new NAFTA, to, to a vote, I think it would pass in the House if she did. I think it would then pass in the Senate. So that's important. We've had recent news about an agreement with Japan. That's important as well. But really, the, the, the big issue is how do we get at a trade agreement with China that changes their behavior and gets American agricultural products back into the Chinese market and we need every market we can get on the farm income is down 50% in Kansas since 2013. How we earn a living in agriculture is what we export around the world. I hope there's something there. I worry that if there is an agreement, that how long does it take then to see the benefits? One of the situations that is somewhat helping things on the farm indirectly was the market facilitation payments. Uh, so folks are getting those, uh, but a lot of, I'm sure you're running into a lot of folks who say, give us a market instead of uh, that type of assistance. Well, in, in farmers in Kansas and uh, really across the country are pretty good. They're not looking for a government check. They're generally looking for how can we earn a living in the market. And that's what they would say is, uh, and, and, the, and the check, the market facilitation payment doesn't come close to resolving the lost income from lack of trade but that is helpful and it's in some instances it's been able to I'm sure save a farm um, and but at the moment what I'm hearing is that this the, the payments are their neighbor got a payment but they didn't uh, there's glitches in the system and it's slow and coming we do think that the, the typical uh, farm bill payments are now coming out and and entering the economy helping a farmer's pocketbook all these issues come to a head in, in, and especially trade when a farmer or rancher goes to his or her banker looking for that line of credit, uh, what's the circumstance on that farm? So these things help, but they don't solve the problem uh, in its entirety. And I worry about not just the farmer, but the places that the farmer spends his or her money. Every rural community needs a farmer to be successful. That's what brings young families back to rural America, and it's what keeps the grocery store going and the farm implement dealership. And um, the sooner we can resolve our differences with China, the better America will be. Okay. We're talking with U.S. Sen Senator Jerry Moran. We're in Graham County. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.